What up guys, Real Touch GML here and today I have a tutorial on combos. Now I'm gonna show you what I've done here. I've just created like my player. And in this one I have created a player that just moves in a circle. Or uh, clockwise just spins. And that's gonna be what happens if our combo is complete. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and create not a timeline we're going to go ahead and create an uh, object player so there we go just just with the normal standing right and we're also going to create a controller or you know we'll call it um combo so this is going to be our combo controller so we go ahead and make a room just put everything in there Let's begin. So, in the create event, we're going ahead and set combo one to equal zero, or whatever your combo is called. I'm just going to use combo one, uh, but you can also have like combo two, combo three, all that stuff. So, combo one equals zero. Now, unfortunately, you can't really do this in drag and drop form, so I'm going to have to do code. Code is this code is really simple though. You should be able to get it so yeah so this is going to be for combo one so if keyboard check pressed um, ord two parentheses and then whatever key you want I'm gonna do s so this is basically just saying if you press this key s the s key uh, two curly brackets and we're going to set alarm zero to equal ninety and we're going to set global dot combo one to equal one now in the create event go ahead and set this to global global just means that it can be used for multiple objects the same variable <clears throat> so go ahead and copy this and paste it three times or two times or how, however long your combo is this is just gonna be a three button combo if you want yours to be like a 17 combo then you put 17 combo things down but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do S A D that's gonna be the combo you need to press S A D so you can go ahead and set alarm zero because we only need to set that once and pretty much alarm zero means how long you have in order to complete the combo uh, before like you can't do it anymore so if you want it to be like they need to do it really fast put it at like 30 or 15 30 steps is one second so that's gonna be three seconds that you have to in order to do this combo or else it will um, you can't do it anymore so what we're gonna do is keep our if keyboard check pressed uh, or a and then we're gonna do the double and sign global dot combo one equals one so this pretty much means if you press A and global at combo one equals one, this is going to happen. Now you can only get to combo, uh, get global combo one if you press S first. Uh, you can't do it any other way. So we're going to set global dot combo one to equal two. Now for the D, we're going to do and global dot combo one equals two. And if global dot combo two equals um, global combo one equals two. The only way you can get to that is by pressing A, and the only way you can get the A is by pressing S. So it forces you to uh, go in order uh, for the S A D. And we're going to set the global combo one to equal three. So now in our player, in the step event, if global, this is why we need global combo one equals three which means you got to the end we're going to change the sprite or you can change the object however you want into sprite one and global dot combo one equals zero to reset the combo also in the combo for the alarm zero that we set we're just going to set global dot combo one to equal zero what the hell? So you have 90 seconds or else to do the SAD or it's going to go back to zero. So let's go ahead and test it out. I will have a link in the description so you can go ahead and download this and take a look. 
I forget to put them in the room? Why there are there two rooms? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so yeah, I will have it a uh, link in the description in order for you can to download this if you'd like. So if I press S A D, he does it. Okay. Um, he doesn't end. He doesn't stop doing that. So what I can do real quick is in the player event. You don't have to do this, but other animation end sprite index equals sprite zero, which is just going to bring him back to uh, the normal standing self. So if we do SAD spins, okay, now if we do DSA, nothing, ASD, SDA, nothing, SAD, and you get it. So let's try to do it slow though. S a D. Alright, let's try that. That might not have been three seconds. S A D. Okay, it doesn't work. Um you can shorten that down to that that um the alarm in the sub event. Again, sorry I couldn't do this with uh drag and drop, but it'd be kinda hard because you'd have to put like key press and then you'd have to put global combo, and then you'd have to key press um, yeah it's just it's just a lot easier doing code and and it's really simple code too so yep so the download link will be in the description for this and um, yeah go ahead and leave a like if you like this tutorial and it helped out Go ahead and comment if you did not get anything. And um, go ahead and subscribe if you like my tutorials in general. And um, yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. The link will be in the description.